Okay guys, follow me through this south slope jungle garden and I'm going to show you what the needle palms are looking like. Let's have a look, see, I covered them up with umbrellas so they, uh, ah. I covered them up with umbrellas, there's the uh, uh, Trachycarpus manipure, I covered them up with umbrellas so they don't uh, get spotting on them, so let's have a look and see how they're doing. And you know what, I think they're looking pretty flawless. Look at that. So it really does, that one's got a few little spots on the fronds, but uh, it does make a difference covering these things up with umbrellas and keeping them dry in the winter. So these are Rapidophyllum hystrix. And uh, that's what they're looking like under the umbrellas. End of January, some Camerops palms in there. They're fine too, but uh, yeah, they look really good. I should have covered them up years ago. And uh, let's just go down here, let's go around. So they look like with umbrellas on them. Ah, ah wet. <laughs> I don't know what that umbrella is doing. That umbrella is not even doing anything. I don't even know where that's just hanging over here. But anyway, so that's what they look like right there. Those are needle palms, Rapidophyllum hystrix, growing in our garden here on Salt Spring Island. And I just don't think they like damp, cold. Uh, on them the, the rain in the winter time so uh, by keeping them dry it makes those fronds look flawless look at that beautiful awesome I'm very happy with these palms now we have seven needle palms one of my favorite palm trees so if you can find one try them in your garden they're a nice hearty clumping palm from the southeastern United States thanks for watching cheers